All right. I thought uh, today was another good situational day. Um, you know, continuing to, you know, really push the guys. You know, trying to trying to uh, you know, make sure they understand the awareness of, of you know, different different situations, different calls. You know, how things are going to apply in, in, within those situations. Obviously, showing a variety of different looks. Um, you know, on both sides. Um, you know, I thought the defense. You know. You know Definitely was a, the winner of the day. Um, you know, I thought they were flying around. You, know, you see, you see those guys playing with, with confidence, and uh, you know what they're being asked to do. You know, being very aggressive. Uh, you offensively, you're still uh, you, uh, working through. You're just you're a little bit more reactive right now, and those things that we, uh, you know, uh, with more reps, more opportunities, you know, that's going to continue to build. But I mean, I like the, uh, I like what I've seen. You know, really from both sides. Uh, you know, where we are. Um, you know, we're continuing to build to be. Um, you know, this being you know, leading into the second scrimmage, I think we're in a, a really good spot to go see guys continue to compete. And um, you know, it's uh, as you go through spring, you know, you know, guys, you know, you want to see, you want to see passion, you want to see fight, you want to see guys that are coming out. Uh, you know, you're working to get better each day, and you know, I think we're seeing that. Uh, but still, just a lot of the, a lot of fundamental things that we get to work to clean up. So um, we continue through that process. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, I think there's a team that really, they, they do embrace the, the work. They embrace the process of, of competition and, um, you know, what it takes. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, we got to just con continue to clean up, you know, the details, the fundamentals, you know, you know being disciplined and, in, in, uh, you know, in our, in our overall execution. But uh, they, you know, haven't, hasn't been from a lack of work and, and you know, mindset. And so, you know, they, I thought they came out the way we needed to come out today. And, uh, you know, when you're building up to, to a, a second scrimmage, you know, you want to see that continued, you know, ramp up. So I thought they did a good job. How is the second scrimmage different from the first in your opinion? Uh, you know, we're going to, we'll, we'll let it play a little bit more uh, rather than just have a set situation. You know, try to put guys in um, you know, less created situations but more reacted situations to what uh, what happens. So, um, you know, probably going to be pretty similar in play count. You know, I want to see, uh, you know, probably around 100. You know, if we get a little bit more than that, you know, we'll go there. Um, but just you see guys go out there and play, execute, and uh, you know, you know, be better than we, they were a week ago. No, I'm, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing him take some, you know, some really positive strides. You know, just in uh, uh, his role, the opportunity to to encourage, to uh, um, you know, to be just you know, consistently, you know, who we need him to be. And, um, there's still things that he's working on as a player. Um, you know, for for his improvement, for him to uh, to take that next step. But I mean, I like what I'm seeing from him, and you know, he definitely has a lot of ownership in this program, and uh, you know, I think he's doing a really nice job for us. Too much of a, not necessarily an 11-11, but too much of some deep ball hits just throughout the day. Uh, you know, I mean, that's something that uh, you know I think we've got you know an explosive group, and you know, that's something that we're going to have to be able to uh, to do. But it's also you know something that um, you know we've got to be able to work through progressions and you know. Take what the defense has given us. We missed some of, you know, even as it went a little later. You know, we missed a few opportunities on the intermediates that, that I think that, uh, you know, if we can stretch the field vertically, I think it's going to open up a lot of space for what we can do underneath. And, um, you know, one of the things I was pr proud of the quarterbacks for doing, really kind of working through progressions and some of our scaly situations, working, getting the ball to the backs, create, you know, the backs doing a good job finding space, creating space, and, uh, you know, that's something that could be a real weapon for us. But, um, you know, like I said, it's just. You know, as these guys are, are working through different looks, just building confidence in that in their timing, their reads, and you'll be able to get the ball out to where it needs to be. Coach Marvin Jones made a lot of plays today. Has he exceeded your expectations so far this spring? Uh, you know, we've got big expectations for all of our guys, so uh, yeah, I wouldn't say any you know, exceeding, but I mean, I'm I'm definitely you know I'm, I'm excited about the way I'm seeing him progress, and you know, he's somebody that you know, he does love to work, and you know, he puts a lot into it. You know, he's everybody talks about wanting to be great. I think that he's you know willing to work to take some of those some of those strides that are necessary. So uh, you know, I like what I'm seeing from him, and excited for him to keep getting better. You mentioned Jalen Brown's explosiveness today. How have you seen him translate to practice? You know, I, I mean, I, I really thought this last week. You know, you see the, the confidence building in him and kind of where he is and what he's doing. Um, you know, and that's something that. Uh, you know, we felt very confident when he was coming out of high school, and obviously when he made the decision to uh, uh, to, to make the decision to come here after he, he went in the transfer portal. You know, we're, we're you know, he was everything that I thought he would be, and you're know, definitely excited about what his future is. Do you like the competition at linebacker? I do. I mean, I think that group is uh, you know, really, uh, you know, it's been it's been good, and I know uh, you know I think Adam talked to you know, something yesterday about you know, Blake and 
you know, I think you know, Justin Cryer had a really, really good day today. You know, when you see in his, you know, his positive steps, you know, obviously DJ Lundy is another one of those guys with Shaheen that you see, you know, taking a positive, a positive step and uh, what he's doing in his leadership role and, and opportunity. So, um, you know, I think you know, you know, Sean Murphy coming in, you know, he's growing in, in just to what to do, how, you know, how to do it. Um, but uh, it's a it's a really good group, and you know, we're gonna get Omar ba Omar Graham, you know, working back in, you know, more and more as we uh, continue to progress. But um, you know, I like where that where that group's at. Uh, I did have I did have one you know kind of announcement. Uh, you know, uh, Destin Hill is going to be out for the rest of the spring. Um, you know, was injured the other day, so he he'll be out. Um, you know, and Jarrell Powers will be the other that you're kind of for sure going to be out for the rest of the uh, spring practice. Obviously, we'll continue to evaluate. You know, where where things go and just what the uh, what the extent of that is. Um, you know, as we're as we're heading into the fall, but um, you know, just want to give an update on those those two guys personnel wise. You know, they'll be out for the rest of the spring. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.